protection fundamentally is looking at how we protect ourselves and our agenda from others. We're going to look at this two-letter word called no that I think is a fundamental secret to finding a better balance. What really resonated to me with me about the workshop was was Lisa Martin and her facilitating skills. She was really excellent at bringing out live examples. She's been there, she's done that, and really bringing women in the audience to come forward and bring their issues to the forefront and have them explained and have have them solved or at least have them put on the table so they can solve them themselves. How many of you are familiar with road rage? Okay, people going absolutely crazy, that crescendo of anger. How many of you are familiar with the working woman, working mother rage? Mm -hmm. In fact, I didn't think that I could get so angry in, until I became a parent, actually. And, you know, it often goes like this, doesn't it? You've been putting up with stuff, 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 and not gonna put up with it anymore. And then all of a sudden, the crescendo starts. And you may say something or do something rather loudly, and you're at the peak, and then you go plummeting down to the bottom, to the pit of despair, for remorse, for tempers lost, things said and done. So that is the rage roller coaster where we hit up here and we go down there. And the only way to avoid that roller coaster is not to buy a ticket. A boundary is really that invisible circle that you draw around yourself to protect what's important to you, your agenda, from other people's agenda. The challenge with boundaries are they're invisible. Nobody knows they're there unless you tell them. The secret in this is once we know our boundaries, once we realize they're invisible and that we need to communicate them, we want to look at a way to be effective in our communication. At the end of a session, you can just feel the energy in the room. People are excited, they've made breakthroughs, they've made connections, they've got ideas, they've got new tools to support them to find a better balance, a better harmony between work and life. Lisa's great. She really brings in real life examples that everybody can relate to and um, keeps the pace going uh, so you're not you know, falling asleep. You, just when you're starting to tire of one subject, she moves on. And, keeps you going, so it's really, it's time really well spent, I find. Feet after me. No! Yeah, that feels good, doesn't it? Yeah, so we all know how to say that word, don't we? Because any of us who have experienced the toddler, we know that they know exactly what they want and what they don't want, and they are not afraid to tell you. So we were all toddlers once too. We have that skill inside of us.